Hi everyone, I'm Mark Brackett. Welcome to the Dealing With Feelings Strategy of the Week. Today's strategy is called Perspective Taking, and I want to thank my friend, Dr. Angela Duckworth, for her insights around this strategy. When I get into trouble, I think it's often lack of perspective. Um, and then the question is like, how do I get more perspective? Because when you're there, I think you don't realize it. I, I mean, I, I met with my therapist today and I was like, I'm, I want to thank you, D, for like being with me this year. And I feel like one of the things I learned is that like thinking about your emotions, thinking, talking to a therapist, talking about things like this, it's not just for crises. What struck me the most was when Angela talked about how she lost her confidence and the strategies that she used to manage her feelings. Her top strategy wasn't to isolate herself and to try to solve her challenges on her own or to employ grit or self-control. Her top strategy was getting perspective. So how'd she do this? Well, she did it in many ways. Journaling, therapy, leaning hard on her husband and family, calling her mom, who appears to have learned a lot from Angela based on what she told her. I love this. It's not a failure, Angela. It's a process. Often when we're struggling, we isolate ourselves. We try to find ways to solve our challenges on our own, or we get anxious and depressed all by ourselves. But what if social support seeking was the norm? As Angela pointed out, the problem with perspective taking is that you don't always know you need it when you're in the middle of not having it. Now it's about you. Take a moment, please, and think about a recent challenging situation. A time when you felt a little uncomfortable or maybe you had a difficult feeling. Did you reach out for support or did you try to figure it out all on your own? How might have you gotten a wider perspective on this? Would journaling have worked? Calling a friend? Calling a family member? Part of emotional growth is recognizing the power of others and perspective taking in solving our emotional problems. Remember, we're born to be in relationships and somehow society tells us that we have to solve problems on our own. That couldn't be further from the truth. So let's remember the power of perspective taking. All of these strategies had one thing in common is it helped me get some perspective. And for me, what I learned last year is that basically I had my nose against the wall and I was like, this is terrible, I can't, you know, and like life is over and I'm useless. And then all you needed to do was like to move away from the wall I'd be like oh honestly the world doesn't care that much about a second book for me like it doesn't the world's gonna keep spinning I'd love to know your thoughts about the role of perspective taking in emotion regulation how has this strategy helped you I'm also delighted to answer any questions you might have about perspective taking and on that note my hope is that you add perspective taking to your repertoire